Hey, what the hell's going on, you guys? It is Tuba Player Negative AE, and welcome to Dungeons 3. I know I'm throwing a lot of new games at the channel instead of playing ones that I already have kind of set up for the channel, but I keep finding new stuff on Steam, and I'm like, oh, that might be cool to play. So, uh, here's another one. Uh, this game, I don't know if you've ever played like a Dungeon Keeper game before. Um, it's very much a game where you play kind of like the anti hero, um, where you just don't like the. The heroes that you would normally play um and you have to try and keep them out of your dungeon and stuff like that because they're coming to try and loot and kill you and it's all interesting and i what i've done is i went through all the tutorials uh just to kind of i know games like this have a little bit of a skill ceiling um and i have a general idea of what i'm supposed to do i guess we'll fumble around when we get into the main campaign here and we'll see what's the going shadow on of absolute evil the shadow of absolute evil had crossed the sea and now sought the chosen target, a dark elf named Talia. Also, it's the announcer from the Stanley Parable. I don't know if you guys have played the Stanley Parable, but every five seconds, I feel like he's going to make a joke, and he does. He's kind of, like, not taking himself very seriously. I love this guy. I don't know who a is... Long, what's it, What his name is? Time ago. But he's a good, he's a good voiceover guy. In the famous predecessor to this game, subjugated the known world and defeated good now in a world full of blackness and despair it spent its days sipping cocktails from the skulls of its enemies and forging new plans over a grilled unicorn kebab unfortunately there wasn't much left to forge a few orc wedges the occasional trick played on the little snots there just wasn't anything left to conquer as the weeks and months passed, the absolute evil grew ever more reticent and seclusive. From time to time, one could hear a slight murmur from the depressed evil's super-secret, secret laboratory in the depths of the dungeon. Its creatures grew more worried with each passing day, and even started to miss its ingenious evil tricks. It was a somewhat confusing time for them. No beatings, no torture, and no being sent to a senseless death. On the other hand, it was a rather nice change. Eons passed, and the unicorn supply dwindled until suddenly, one wonderful day, the evil genius evil joyfully burst from its super secret secret laboratory. It finally had a new goal, an unknown continent as often found in sequels, lay to the east, sheltered from the wicked evil by naught but a puny little ocean. It immediately had a fleet built. This was so powerful that it covered the horizon from north to south and was manned by the best and most powerful creatures at the devious evil's command. The fleet set sail for the crossing to this new continent left the harbor, and sank. Yet that mattered naught to the couldn't give a hoot about its minions evil. It instructed its goblins and little snots to design an even more powerful fleet. These new ships were gigantic. Loaded with devious evil's second best creatures, the fleet set out, and that sank as well. The annoyed evil saved his relentless anger towards the shipbuilders for later. Obviously, it would have to take care of the matter itself. With a sigh, it cast a spell and created a shadow of itself. A creature of absolute darkness and evilness. This shadow flew across the water towards the east. There, it would find a vessel, a corruptible being that would subjugate this land in the name of evil. And the shadow had the perfect target in mind. These heroes living on this island, I feel like... If, like, you're the only good continent and there's a giant, like, evil continent... Like, how do you... How do you live? The great paladin Thanos, hero of the totally eastern kingdoms and a repugnantly good fellow. He was visiting the fatiguing library in Twistrum with his comrades to see his foster daughter, Talia. 
Well now, Talia, tell me about your studies. Are you making progress with the writings of the ancient sages? This is a bigger cutscene than I thought this game would have. I have thoroughly digested it and have come a step closer to the good. The desire within me to do evil is defeated. Really? <laughs> Excellent. I am proud of you, my child. Continue to concentrate on your studies. I like the crow. To clear up a few matters. I'll be back soon. In the meantime, my loyal friend Grimly will protect the country. Should anything trouble you, you can turn to him. Isn't that right, Grimly? I, of course, Thanos. I'll keep an eye on the damn elf. You, I mean, your daughter. You can count on me. Then I'll see you soon, my friends. May the goddess watch over you, and the light burn eternally. Bon voyage, dear father. I'll make you so proud of me. Who does good is good. Yuck. Disgusting phrases like that always leave such a nasty taste in my mouth. These abnormally good heroes, on the other hand, had no inkling of the malignity gathered to the south. One moment a herd of sheep was peacefully grazing, and the next moment, whomph! With a fulminant explosive effect that ate up half our special effects budget, the shadow <laughs> entered the world. His target, a dark elf caught between good and evil, was very close. As the shadow of the unspeakably evil evil moved through the world, all around it died. Plants withered. Animals perished. Sort of like a picnic with my family. Um, so this isn't the game, by the way. This is just kind of like a tutorial. You'll see what the game is in a second. It's very much like the a strategy. The far-off evil found itself very, very close to Twistrum. It could practically feel its target's presence. Take these lanterns, men. And let the light of the goddess shine. For the night is dark and full of terrors. And there's a pile of horse poo around here somewhere. I trod on it earlier. For the darkness! Uh, uh, I, mean, I mean, for the, for the light! Sorry. <laughs> I'm still in training. <laughs> uh, yes, well, that is somewhat suboptimal. Naturally, the shadow of the almighty evil was an incredibly powerful creature. But, well... Light was a bit of an issue. It would certainly be wise to stay out of the lantern light. Okay, goal. Don't step into the light. We need to take that elf girl. The shadow reached the entrance to Twistrum. Fortunately, this one was not closed, but it was brightly lit. Luckily, there was an unfortunate guard on patrol that the shadow was able to possess thanks to its incredible powers. As long as it wasn't in the light. Hold on. The shadow of absolute evil melded with the guard and took control of his body. Thus, it was able to pass through the gate with ease. Uh, what was that? I think there was something wrong with that last beer. Unfortunately, the shadow's possession only lasted a short while before the guard was able to free himself. Still, it was long enough to get past the gate. Okay. I just need to take the over shadow's it. The target was close. So close. Talia, the dark elf. Soon she would fight on the side of evil. <laughs> she looks hot too. May the goddess be with you, my friends. It will soon be time to open the orphanage in the fatiguing library. Come to the big square and join in the festivities. I like that this game has an extensive story <laughs> that it doesn't need. I had actually kind of planned to spend the evening in the bathhouse. Friends, this orphanage is very important to my father. Thanos, you know, the mighty paladin, the one you really don't want to offend. Uh, yeah, all right, all right, we'd love to come. 
Excellent! May the light of the goddess shine upon you, and let us experience this exhilarating spectacle in the big square together. Follow me, my friends, for evil at the, 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 the light, I mean. <laughs> Keep the light burning bright, for the night is dark and full of terriers or uh, errors or uh, something like that. I agree, I agree. Saving. Okay. Is it gonna let us go on our own for a little bit? Very talkative game, this game. But our goal is just to not get caught by light and corrupt... Corrupt the elf girl. Hmm. I'm guessing I have to go over here. You're gonna go? Cool. This is like, this reminds me of League of Legends, like, real hard. Because this is all you do in League of Legends. You just click a thousand times. <laughs> Or Dota. I guess Dota, you do the same thing too, huh? You just. Just hoping that they move faster. Stop holding the lantern in my face like that, boy. I am Grimley, King of the Dwarves, and I am used to the cold, dark tunnels under the mountains. Oh, it gives me, like, level designer stuff. Good job, Gerald Crisson. So far, so good. In the distance, one could hear the unbearably good bells of a church. They must be marking the opening of the orphanage in the fatiguing library. Heroes! With lanterns began to stream in that direction. The crossing on a red signal evil shadow swore, or would have, if it had a mouth, and tried to avoid the lanterns as much as possible. Okay, we're finally here. Finally. Finally. The time had come, and the shadow of the passes in the slow lane evil was within range of Talia, the dark elf. The time had come for it to use its incredible powers to possess her for a short time. My dear father would be very proud were he with us today. He would be overjoyed to see us give the young and the needy a place to live and thrive. That's why I'm happy to take this orphanage and this orphanage and destroy it utterly and all of you with it. Die! Are you gonna... I, I feel the power within me. Oh, it, it, Kill it's everybody. God damn it. Imagine power surfaced in Talia. The black magic of the Dark Elves. She immediately began to unleash these powers of chaos upon the world. I'll tear you to pieces. Why are all the novices stunned? Like lambs to the slow. Cool. The dark elf raged through Twistrum's inexperienced guards. She thereby built up a God tremendous damn it. inner energy, which she released into the world as a focus beam while screaming, Kame ha! Meanwhile, in the fatiguing library, they waited eagerly with coffee and cake for Talia to show up and open the new orphanage. 
the energy beam hit the cake with a resounding zap and reduced it to ashes. Oh yes, and the rest of the building and everyone inside it as well. The narcissistic evil patted itself on the shoulder for this. Or it would have, but the metal armor always made such a terrible clonking noise when it tried. But then again, that's what little snots are for. Obviously, the dispatch shadow had found a perfect vessel in the Dark Elf. Talia had already earned the title of Employee of the Month, with the utter destruction of the fatiguing library, as well as half of Twistrum. The destruction of an orphanage and the bombardment of innocent citizens with magic missiles immediately made her the Minion Wasting Evil's new favorite henchperson. Her evil deeds complete, Talia withdrew into the vaults beneath the ruins of the fatiguing library. There, between the slaughterhouse and mad Archbishop Lazarus's apartments, she prepared to create something powerful in the name of the absolutely ultimately evil evil. A dungeon heart, the cornerstone of any dungeon's power. Far away, Paladin so of Light and Talia's former mentor, Thanos, was on his way to the Empire's capital of Stormbreeze. Naive and trusting as he was, he was whistling cheerfully to himself with no inkling of his foster daughter's dark deeds. Though he was aware that as a dark elf, she always had a core of evil in her. He had hoped to defeat it through religious indoctrination with ancient mad writings. Well, old bean, you thought wrong. <laughs> That uh, announcer guy is great. Twistrum in ruins. Talia, the dark elf, had turned to evil and laid the fatiguing library in ruins. Now she began to build a small power base in its vaults. Her first dungeon. One thing I will say is this game has a lot more than I originally thought it did. Because when I bought this game, I thought it was just going to be a campaign. And that was it. Um, but they have a skirmish mode, which is like a free free play mode, and then they have a multiplayer thing, which I don't even know. I don't even know how that works, how multiplayer works in this. Um, so that's interesting. I just wanted to kind of point that out because that was made me kind of impressed. Uh, and it's co-op. There's a little co-op button that you can press to like play. I don't even know how that would work either. Um, but yeah, co-op, interesting. Um. Yeah, so I learned a little bit about how to play. Um, I haven't, we haven't actually gotten into the game yet. <laughs> that was kind of like a prologue, which was pretty cool. It reminded me of, uh, God, what's that, uh, ni like ninja game? From a heavy metal concert. What? What have I done? Oh no, I've fallen to evil again. Father will be beside himself. <laughs> He was right when he said, you either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. That's oh, true. Well, in a way, it was fun to be evil. Yeah. Burning things, pillaging, and showing those nasty goody two-shoes where the hammer hangs. <laughs> oh, I like her. down at me anyway. My revenge Hot dark elf. will be terrible. Mm. She cute though. While Tanya was delivering a typical villainous monologue, something happened around her. From the depths arose a pulsating crystal filled with the magic savvy evil's power. A dungeon heart. Not to be confused with those dungeon hearts from other games. We don't want to be sued. Again. <laughs> Mello, greetings. <laughs> What seems to be your boggle? Secret mental messages were exchanged between Talia and the mentally savvy evil's crystal. We could explain this in detail at this point, but that would require a three-hour monologue on my part, and I am definitely not being paid enough for that. The game logic oh. internalizing evil had given Talia an assignment. I didn't mean to Out skip that. on the surface were shamelessly good places in urgent need of destruction. Nah. No problem. I'll take care of it. I and my evil eye. 
Naturally, the strategically well-versed evil did not send its new general into battle alone. A dungeon had to be built, and creatures hired to provide her with a powerful army. Of course, the sophisticatedly thinking evil already knew which way the wind blew in a dungeon. However, should it be hit by short-term memory loss, it could effortlessly look up things in the fabulous almanac. Okay, so um, I think we're all set to just continue to play. So that's Thalia. She's my leader. Um, what I'm doing right now, currently, is I'm making kind of like a uh, treasury. This treasury might be a little bit too big for what I need. Um, but I'm making a little treasury here so that way any gold that we get can just be stored in here. We might need to make more of these later, but for right now this is going to be a, a perfectly fine uh, treasury the here. Grandiose evil's helpers had not been idle. Well, they hadn't exhausted themselves either, but anyway, there were now some research projects the researching evil could pursue. The new improved research menu TM was now available. The new improved research menu TM opened and gave an overview of currently available technologies. At the moment, the selection was still limited, but that would change. After all, this evil crusade had only just begun. Okay. Um, yeah, so I just made a treasury. That's how we store things. Basically, I click the research button. I can research uh, any of this stuff as long as I have enough uh, materials for it. Like, this requires 100 evil in this point, which I don't have. Um, I think the next form of action and something that we should end up doing here is um, doing, like, a horde room somewhere. Now, am I allowed to... Uh, Destroy Tristram's guard buildings. Okay. Okay, so how do I... Oh, I have to get rid of... Okay. I had a thing available, and I didn't want it. We're going to make a 5x5 five five room here. Just so we can have a pretty good creature room. I'm gonna do that and we're also gonna do that as well that way we can do uh, faster operations we might need to hire more um, minion people that way we can get more work done uh, basically this number up here tells us how many minions we can have that can be working at one time and the more that we have of those the better because we need uh, shit to be done you know um, so that's good to kind of have and this is gonna be our monster room hey Thalia thanks for checking in how are you and so every time I like clear out rooms just like gold and stuff this is gonna be my gold and monster room area and I guess if we wanted to we could make like a little corridor over here and a room has been excavated in the underground what is this? What's this? I don't know what this is. This was not told to me in the tutorial. Oh, okay. They pick it up for me. I don't even know if I told them to do this, but that's okay. Okay. So let's build a something. Oh, we need food for our thing. We need food for our people, so we need to research um, food thing because we can't have any monsters because they need to eat. We don't have this, which is the gobbler farm, and we can use that gobbler farm to. Payday. Thank you. Um, so now that we can build the gobbler farm, we do that. Actually, we should probably build the gobbler farm over here. To be honest with you. Okay. Um, and then after we build the gobbler farm over there, um, we'll be able to do stuff. And then, well, after we build the gobbler farm, we'll be able to make monsters. Because if we build the monsters and we don't have a gobbler farm for them to eat, then we don't have anything. Um, I say we start 
you know, building minions though, let's see. Okay, now we can build a gobbler farm. I think we need an expansion actually to this room. Hold on. Can we uh, build an expansion to this room? Okay, cool. We have a gobbler farm going. Can I make more gobblers? Okay, good. We've built the gobbler farm. What we'll need to do is we'll need to build um, this. There we go. Perfect. Now we have enough room for our a goblin friend to, to relax. Because I had made five guys, but I had not made enough. And then what are we going to put over here? Let's go to our research tab and find more stuff that we can uh, put. We can improve Thalia, but we need evilness points. And I want the Naga, but we don't have the Naga. Where are all of my evil minion friends? Just taking as many evil goblin friends as I can. Okay, now that we have as many evil goblin friends, I'm gonna put all of them in here. Okay. Now that we have our goblin friends, we can take this. So while my dungeon is forming, what we can do is send our armies out here to attack um, hero bases. Blinding beams of light met the dauntless evil's creatures. They briefly squinted at the disgusting brightness. Finally, they grinned, satisfied. At last, they were able to carry the battle to the good people and were not limited to protecting themselves in a dungeon, as is the case with other representatives of the genre. <clears throat> Follow me, sons of Rohan. I, I mean, my vicious hordes. Let's get these tree huggers and wimps. Oh, uh, dude, yeah, put Thali out there. Thalia, get over here. I didn't know you could, Thalia could be out with us, you know, like attacking things. If we can have Thalia out here, then we should have Thalia out here. Alright. Armies of evil reach one of those disgustingly good places that had survived the destruction of Twistrum. The ice cold hand, I mean evil, would deal with it immediately. Okay, we can cast massive spells as well. I think we're close to death though. I mean, they're attacking the big orcs first, so that's good. The little town of good was destroyed and turned into a hotbed of evilness. Cracks formed on the surface and something, yes, evil rose from the depths. This evilness, in a practical spherical form, was the sweet lifeblood which flowed through the personified evil's veins. It stimulated the armies of evil and swelled their power. All this lofty blah blah without any impact on the game aside, it was another resource primarily or exclusively used for more powerful research. Delicious evilness flowed into the dungeon heart and filled it with power. 
<laughs> New research was thus made available, which would help the dungeon to even greater power. Cool. The impatient evil immediately began to research something. Okay. Um, yeah, so basically now we have evilness. Um, we're going to use that evilness evil to get Naga. Some new research and immediately set about trying it out. Yeah, what is going on here? I feel a disturbance in the force. The deeds of the conspicuous evil and its henchmen had not gone unnoticed. As a matter of fact, even a blind man could see the destruction they left behind them. <laughs> As idiotic heroes do, they sent out a small patrol to scout the area. Move out, men. Have a look around and report back to me. While I would love to accompany you myself, I'm currently um, teaching myself to play the ukulele. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's not good. Okay, so the humans are on to us, so that's fine. Um, what we're going to do is we got the Naga there, um, and we're going to upgrade Thalia just a little bit. More power. More power. Cool. Okay, so, and then, uh, can we research any, like, uh, I don't know, I feel like we should, like, make a Naga now. Um, board, Naga. Uh, Naga. And then, oh, and then I need an orc. Okay, so to make an orc, I need to research more... Board minions, because uh, I do want to have like one orc in there. We could actually even make this place bigger. Oh, no, the studio burned down, and I was going to come here tonight for Pilates. I was going to come here tonight for Pilates. Okay. Um, and then, I mean, there's nothing really else to build. Uh, the throne room doesn't have any improvements. We can upgrade that. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Hey, where does this lead? We should take a closer look. The first heroes had discovered the not-so-well-hidden evil's dungeon and now entered its depths. Of course, the insidious evil had already prepared a despicable reception for <laughs> them. At least I think so. Even if that's not the case, I will kill these ridiculous do-gooders myself. They will pay for mocking me over the years. Wait. Nagas. Oh, wait a minute. What am I saying? Those are my friends. Nagas. How can I plan their deaths? Talia had chosen an extremely unfavorable time for moral doves. <laughs> Luckily, her evil dark elf heritage prevailed. Hey, Talia. You're evil, so act like it. What? Oh, yeah, okay. Kill them all! Sweet. That's the Talia that I like. Oh, the Nagas are like support units. That's sick, okay. Maybe we don't need like three Nagas. Oh, we only have two Nagas, that's good. Cool. So Nagas are like really helpful. Let's continue mining. I don't know what this stuff is. Gold? Okay, it is gold. Let's do some of this. What else do we need to research, really? Um, we don't have a lecture hall. The improved horde or improved Thalia. I'm just kind of like making areas. Can I select all of them? <laughs> How do I, uh, <laughs> can I select all of them? That would be great if I could, like, do that from this screen. Oh, you totally can. Oh, sweet. Jesus Christ, Thalia. I just wanted to know how to pick up people. Alright, we figured it out. They're all hungry. There's chickens over here. You can eat them. 
We can actually even make this room. Let's make this room a little bit bigger. That way we can have more chickens. Okay, and now what we do is we're gonna make this chicken room bigger. And then um, we're also gonna make this uh, this room bigger as well. I don't want it bigger that way if it's not gonna let me mine that way. We're gonna do this shit. We're just gonna make this room very big. Because this is our army room, and really that's all we care about right now. Hopefully, no one has arachnophobia. A spider nest has been discovered. Payday! We're gonna do that, and then have the spider nest kind of here, and then let's look at our army. Because we need our army to kind of deal with the spiders. Perfect. Um, also, we need to start building um, stuff. There what is this? In your dungeon. Okay, wait a second. Oh my goodness. Okay, so our army. I'm gonna click on you. Ready to go kill them. Thank you. Cool. Sweetness. Okay. Let's continue making army rooms. <laughs> We're being disturbed. First we had a spider den. We're gonna make that also one as well. I don't know. I just wanna make more people. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this space. Let's just make this bigger as well. I mean, honestly, how... If you can make something very big... You should. <laughs> is that... Is that a true statement? I don't know. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're gonna crush whoever we fight. As long as we have somewhere to eat and sleep for the people that we make... Um... We should be all right. More chickens. Good. All right, now there's like tons of things for people to eat. And then also what we're gonna do is go to research and increase our hoard. So that way we can get like three more people. We're gonna have what? Like another orc and a goblin? Maybe two? Okay, sweet. All right, now that we have like a proper army, we have like 10 people that we got. Um, I say we should go back out and, like, conquer something else. Also, we should, like, try and research, like, traps. Oh, we need, like, toolboxes and shit. I feel like we need traps, but it's not on my upgrade tree. Because we don't have a lecture hall. Um, 
And I can't build a lecture hall because they're not giving me an option to. Just do that. And then we'll also... Okay, we can't do that yet. So let's open up our army menu and pick up everybody. Perfect. I'm gonna drop them all in here. Cool. Hello, everybody. Everything good must die. Everything good must die. You are correct. All right, let's start going and killing the rest of this stuff here. Now that we have like a proper army of ten fuckers here, I don't know really what we'll be doing. I mean, I guess in the future what we'll need to do is like have them be doing stuff while we go out and do this. We don't really need to go back at all if we have Nagas. Cuz Nagas are going to just let us win pretty much all the time. They don't heal very much, but they heal enough. Okay, if we go down, we do that. If we go up, we do that. Let's go up. I also like that my main character is a hot elf. That's great. Oh yeah, burn this house down. Showed him. Great. Okay, good. Turned into an evil, an evil fireplace. Cool. Yeah, burn everything down. Keep going. We still we still can uh I mean we have Nagas. Oh my god. They really tried. Nagas, get to work. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why did they do so much? I'm gonna kind of wait here for a second. I mean, nothing says we have to be fast about our evil. We can, uh, let's commit evil acts at a slow pace, shall we? That way they don't get, uh, too strong. The armies of evil here? Damn it all, how did that happen? Time to call out the heavy guns. Right, men, get ready to attack in waves. Uh, excuse me, sir. Wouldn't it make more sense if we attacked all at once? Where's the fun in that? Wave after wave, that's a strategy for you, men. Thanks to the enemy's limited tactical finesse, their destruction was virtually unavoidable. So it was time to decorate for the victory celebration, to get the beer and hire the orc dancers. Okay, maybe not orcs. I shudder at the thought. <laughs> They're going to be child's play. Leave them to me. I mean, hold them back and let them hit you while I deal with them. Okay. As long as they're not sending armies to my base right now, I'm totally fine with whatever they want to do. Um, what we should do is go back, kind of restock, have our Nagas heal everybody, you know? Have a good rest at the at the dungeon, especially if they're sending waves of people over. Oh, yeah, go rest. Everybody go rest. Good work out there, guys. Good work. Well played. Good job. Oh no! The studio burned down. And I was going to come here tonight for Pilates. <clears throat> okay, army. There are enemies in your dungeon. There's enemies. 
Thalia. Get over here. Naga. Get over here. Your dungeon heart is under attack. It's not under attack now. We really need to have some sort of trap there. Like, if at all possible, please. I am even more powerful. Yeah, let's do some of it. More power! Death to all that is good. Yeah, do more do more summoning of, of things. Sounds like a great idea. Okay, um, hideout. We have no lecture hall. Still kind of waiting on that lecture hall. Um, let's just kind of even this room out. I don't know what this room is going to be for, but really we should have this room be something. It's lecture hall length, so it could be a lecture hall if it wanted to be. We should really just keep mining this way. a giant ass room and we can make this room like in different parts like something and something else I need like a guard station or something um, have uncovered a dragon's nest is that a dragon lizard <laughs> they just don't want to enter the room. Army, get over here. Uh, preferably the orcs. There are enemies in your dungeon. Stop coming in my dungeon. My dungeon people need to eat and sleep. So many people coming into my dungeon. Okay. There's a dragon's nest here, but it's no longer here. Is there anything I can research? See? Payday. Maybe let's just like increase the population. I don't know. I think we increase the horde damage, maybe. Um, I believe we might need to find the lecture hall um, in order to. In order to do anything. Let me just see. Can I, um... Hmm. I guess we do that. Like, even out the room a little bit. Increase the army damage. And then what we can do is we can also... How long have I been playing this game? <laughs> oh my goodness. I just looked at the time that I've been playing this. Building games like this, it happened with Stonehearth as well. Where I was just kind of like, I'll get invested in it. And then I just won't stop. And then, um, and then I just completely lose track of time. 
Um, what I will do now is just upgrade our army count real quick. Just a couple of times. Or just one time, I guess. Get like one more person in, in our army here. Uh, as soon as that hit a, hits 100, we'll be able to do it. Cool. Get one more person. Who are we going to get? Another orc, probably. Okay. And now that we have all of that, we can uh, start approaching. So, everybody's ready. Nobody's hungry anymore. Okay, and everybody outside. Okay. We have a good amount of evil. We want to make sure that no good people are going to invade our base. If good people invade our base, um, that's a big no-no. Um, so we're going to try to make it so they can't invade. We'll have to go downward. Gotta take out the healers first in the back. If I know anything about RPGs, it's that you always have the healer in the back, and then the monsters always ignore them. It's not what we're gonna do here. It's not how this is gonna go down. Okay. Get this bitch in the back. people spawning. We're killing this apprentice. Excuse me. Hi. Cool. She's just auto summoning those things, which is good. Victorious. <laughs> good thing I switched sides. And so it was that the good <laughs> camp was destroyed by the battle wise evil's army. Now it was time to take over all of the good islands. But that would be a cakewalk. Easy as stealing candy from a baby. Candy from a baby? Simple. I asked. Ever tried it? The screaming and crying and fetching their parents and family as reinforcements, and those little beasts bite pretty damn hard. <clears throat> Not that I have any personal experience. The ultimate chaotic absolute whatever evil will be happy. I am. <laughs> Father is gonna be so angry. Do you really know what you're doing? You wanted to be good. You had dedicated yourself to the light. Stop and really think about your deeds. Can you please just stop with the golem thing? We already had too many Lord of the Rings gags in the last two games. <laughs> enough is enough. Yeah, exactly. Just shut it. I me. This game doesn't take itself too seriously. Good was and I like that. Overrun by the strategically savvy evil's hordes and turned into an evil island. Soon, more of that exquisite evilness would be bubbling to the surface. <laughs> Excellent. Even better than in Dungeons 2. Not that I'm out to plug it or its fantastic add-on or anything. I'd never do that. I don't know why I went all the way around to kill these people. But it's whatever. Sure showed him. 
Okay. Let's uh, finish this campaign here, shall we? Kill the healer. Kill the healer. There we go. Thank you, Nagas. What's going on here? Is that Mount Rushmore? Go the healer. trying to kill my nagas but Adia they can't the do it. The destructive evil's army had succeeded in destroying Twistrum and the surrounding area. Good. No longer existed in this land. Why? What the hell happened here? Um, uh, apparently not quite all of the good guys were defeated. The dwarven king Grimly, an old drinking buddy of Thanos the Paladin, was just touring the country with his exorbitantly large army to ensure <laughs> everything was in order. Thank God, the foresighted evil had provided for this contingency. The dungeon heart was charged with evilness and enough energy to act as a teleporter. For Talia, of course. Oh, good. And all the best, brave warriors and... Stop them! Right! I'm out of here! With a plop, Talia dissipated and disappeared to a faraway and safe place. The rest of the sacrificing evil's creatures looked astonished as their general fled, but only for a moment, as they already found themselves facing an unpleasant army of good. This is the work of that damn pointy-eared wench. I always warned Thanos that those miserable dark elves couldn't be trusted. Criminals, the lot of them. But enough is enough. I'm going to find that shifty witch and use her ears as bookmarks. All right. Um, that's going to be kind of my playthrough. I, I mean, I didn't talk very much a lot of the uh, times that he was talking. Uh, so I don't know how interesting that was to watch. It was it, games like this I can play. I can sit down and play for hours without like realizing what time it is. So I do apologize for the episode being like 57 minutes. Um, but I was just kind of like, oh, I'm going to build as much army as I can. Oh, I'm going to do this. Oh, I need a lecture hall. Let me try and find that and keep digging. Oh, I found a dragon pit. Let me fight that. Um, so it's, there's a lot of stuff that, like, <laughs> it happened with Stonehearth where I would just play forever and ever. Speaking of Stonehearth, we should go back to that game. That was a good game. Uh, I know that I'm kind of playing a lot of new games. Let me know what you guys think of this one as well. Um, I just see new games and I'm like, oh, that looks like fun. I want to play that. And, um... I do like games like this, and especially a game like this that doesn't take itself very seriously at all. Um, it's very cool. It's a very cool game. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button. I really appreciate it. Thank you for uh, joining me on this adventure, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode, whatever that may be. Peace out, you guys.